was, you know what I'm saying? It was, I'm already here. So in order for me to take a deal, it needs to be here. The one and only mulatto. It's interesting, you know what I'm saying? Her story is pretty, uh, pretty interesting, um, pretty mind-boggling. Uh, as far as like where she came from, her story, and you know, so obviously she's speaking about her father inside this interview. If you want to go watch the interview, all you have to do is look up Mulatto interviews um, on the tube. But in a nutshell, she basically kind of grew up in the in the industry already because her father was basically an entrepreneur. And he was, wherever the money was at, that's where he was, her father. She's not with her father no more. She have another manager that's obviously going crazy with her. Um, and it's crazy that her father didn't even go through. And, um, but then again, like family and business never really work out because it's emotion involved. You know what I'm saying? You can't really try and make the most money. And emotions is involved. I'm talking about like you start thinking about certain things, like oh maybe this won't happen for them or whatever the case. It sucks, you know what I'm saying. But obviously, Mulatto was basically on this show called The Rap Game. Um, why did she turn down the rap game money? Like, I mean, why did she turn down the rap game record deal? Obviously, I showed a little clip of it. She basically said in the in the interview verbatim that pretty much she wasn't. So in my in my eyes, as a consumer to the show, as a, like I actually watched the show a while back, like when it was airing on TV. Basically, I assumed that whoever wins wins the chain and wins a record deal. You feel me? So everybody is pretty much rapping for a record deal. But what people don't let you know is, and obviously she let us know um, that Lifetime, which is actually where it aired and where I watched it at, they give you a check. They give you a check because you're competing, um, and it's a prize. So that's actually a good thing about Lifetime. You know what I'm saying? They gain a lot of following and fans or whatever the case throughout that time period because kids is now engaged on this little series I got with other kids so they feel like they can relate. It's a whole bunch of other artists out there that's 12, 13, 12, 11, whatever the case is, trying to pursue this at a young age. So, boom. Um, she basically turned it down because Jermaine Dupri, uh rap a lot records, I believe that's, that's what he owns or pretty much is a part of. Um, didn't really want to give her a good deal to her standards or whatever the case. More than likely, every single artist or producer or anybody that has a label, if they're not, every, every label is trying to get the best out of you. Especially if they feel, if they feel like you can't offer nothing. Like now, Jermaine Dupri was probably like, dang, like, I wish I probably should have signed her for whatever she wanted because it helps her out. I mean, it helps him out. 